magnetic overlay is now in over 600 schools um, in Victoria over the last two years, encompassing about 7,500 classrooms. Interesting to note that most of the classrooms have interactive whiteboards as well. The reason the overlay is so popular in the schools is for a number of reasons. It is simply a clear acetate thick sheet with magnetic backing strips around, which adheres to any standard whiteboard in your classroom or on your mobile literacy stands. So the magnetic overlays come with a number of inserts, the first being a dotted thirds insert. So the children can clearly see the teacher model in handwriting and what it enables the teachers to do, unlike interactives where there's a lag time, is that they, the children can clearly follow the pattern of the writing. One of the benefits also is that the overlay doesn't actually stain, so there's no shadowing. So one of the advantages of the overlay is that all teachers have resources within their classroom. So this is just something you can simply put behind. And what it enables is you can trace, draw, mark out paragraphs, letters, and it protects the original. Another of the advantages of the magnetic overlay that teachers use is they'll actually get a big book and place it behind. Again, you can trace and draw over different paragraphs or words, but due to the electrostatic property of the overlay, that simply means that some teachers will actually cut out a piece of paper and use it as a reading window. So the children can just clearly see one line at a time. There's no glue tack involved and it just helps with children's tracking ability when they're reading. This is used extensively on teachers' mobile literacy stands and they find it very beneficial. But again, as I said, you can also you know, trace and draw and make pictures, thus protecting your big books. And again, it's very easy just to simply wipe, wipe off. That's just a standard piece of A4 uh, paper. There are a number of different insights that go behind the magnetic overlay. So on one side, as you saw, was the dotted thirds. And on the other side of this particular overlay, overlay is a 0 to 110 chart, which just simply slots in behind like that. So one of the things that a lot of the teachers do with the 0 to 10 is 100 is, because of the um, properties of the paper being able to stick, you can get the children to simply cut out little pieces of A4 paper into different shapes and sizes. By placing them on, the children have a lot of fun trying to identify which numbers are missing in all the number patterns. Another thing that a lot of the teachers have found very useful in their teaching of numbers for the boys and girls in the classroom is by using these super strong magnets. And it might be something as simple as placing the magnets on a nine line, for example, starting at the nine and working the way down. And asking the children in your classroom what they actually see in this number pattern. Some children will say, well, we're counting by nine. Some children will say, oh, well, odds and evens, blacks and greens. Some children will actually say we're counting nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And some children in lower grades will actually pick up that if they add the two digits together on this nine line, for example, they equal back to nine. For example, one and eight equals nine, two and seven, three and six, they all add back to nine. There's lots of different number patterns that you'd be aware of. Here's another nine line over here, but that's a six nine line. So we're counting by nine, but the two digits add back to six. And this just gives the children a bit of a different focus on maths and maths patterns. Um, you can count by twos, count down by fives, count by tens. So there's a variety of patterns. And again, it's always in view of the child. And that's one of the real benefits of this resource is it is always up on either your main whiteboard or your mobile literacy stand. Again, I mean, you can circle numbers if you like. So there's a, a variety of exercises you can do with these 0 to 110 charts. They've purposely been made 0 to 110 so the children get to count past 100, which we feel is quite important in the teaching of basic mathematics. Another insert that's used quite extensively in uh, especially grade threes, fours, fives and sixes is a multiplication insert. And on the other side there's a square insert. And what that enables is for mapping 
place value, graphene, etc. So firstly, you would be using the multiplication. And again, by using magnets, you simply can, for example, put all your numbers on number 24 and ask children what they see in this number sequence of 24. Uh, this, ha this is very good for um, factoring. Again, because of the electrostatic properties, you can simply put your pieces of paper on. The children have to work out what numbers are missing. Again, it's very important for the children to come up and do this. Uh, and the girls and the boys absolutely love being involved in it. And again, you can also, obviously, just circle whichever numbers. It might be all your even numbers, counting by two. So it's good fun in the classroom. And again, it's always up in view, either on your main whiteboard or on your mobile literacy stand. So with the multiplication insert, the other side is the square insert. And what that allows is you to be able to simply, again, place the home. And I've done a bit of a mock-up on the sort of things you can do. So some teachers will play word search games. It's fantastic for place value because the children's exercise books have got the little squares, so it just straightens up all their, their numbers. It's fantastic also for um, doing area, graphing. So there's a multitude of uses you can actually use on the opposite side of the multiplication chart being the, the square insert chart. Another insert that's been developed, I got asked a couple of years ago by one of the curriculum teachers that I was at a conference which was, do you have games that you can put behind? So I've devised a snakes and ladders game. And this is just purely great fun on wet days. It enables the children from a low age to use die and add the numbers uh, with the one or two or three die and then play the game. So it might be such a simple thing of you've got two different colour magnets and all the children get to play the game, move the game, have a lot of fun. It's just a great way, again, to teach children um, at an early age how to add up dice and how to play numbers and how to play the game. It's a lot of fun. They really, really enjoy it. Again, from a literacy standpoint, um, here's another resource that a lot of classrooms have. Things like blends and ends. So they just simply, as before, go behind. And, again, you can just circle what you want. Get the children to come up and be involved. And that's just an idea of another resource within the classroom that you can use because many, many schools have a lot of resources that are just tucked away and really never used. And so you, because you've got them, you might as well use them with the magnetic overlays. And again, very, very easy cleaning. You can just use a tissue or a cloth. If by chance you make the mistake and you put a permanent marker on, which sometimes happens, um, just a simple um, art room wire, uh, metho can be used. Just put it on a cloth. And even permanent marker will come straight off. I was asked to uh, develop two sizes of the magnetic overlays, ostensibly for the purposes of half the teachers want to use the overlay on their mobile literacy stand, and the other half want to use them on their main whiteboard in their classroom. So there is two different sizes to fit both. Uh, another product that I was asked to develop uh, by some of the principals actually was a term planner. So we printed out a term planner. This only goes on the large uh, whiteboards. It doesn't go on the literacy stand. But many principals actually put them in their office um, for use, so it's always in view for them. So it's like their ter personal term planner. And others put them in the staff room. Another insert that was developed, um, and this helps the music teacher, because we can't uh, forget the creative people in the school, but the music teacher. Um, and this is invaluable. This also just goes on the large board, but it saves them endless amounts of time by drawing up lines. They can write their staves on there. They can put their music on there. And it's just a really handy tool if you do run a music program within your school. And if you talk to the music teachers, uh, they'll agree that it really is something that they um, need in their classrooms. So what I'd like to quickly show you now how easy it is to just simply change the educational material that you've already got in-house. Um, so it's just simply a matter of putting one in. 
taking another one, putting it in. So it's very, very easy. And you know, as I said before, it really is worthwhile using the resources that you've already got uh, behind the magnetic overlay. Because as you know, you can draw on them, and then trace. I won't wreck your original. Um, these have now been in schools for quite a number of years, and they simply don't wear out. So another advantage is they don't use paper, and they don't use toner, and they don't use electricity, so there is no ongoing costs.